Hey guys, so today I'm going to be doing a first impressions video for the CoverGirl True Blend Foundation. And I, as you can see, I'm not wearing any makeup right now. I just woke up about 20 minutes ago. So uh, I'm going off to class today and I thought I would show you my first impression of this. And I'm in the shade Classic Ivory, if you didn't see my haul video of this. And like I said in that video, I'm not sure if that's going to be the right shade for me. I might have to get the lighter shade, but I'm optimistic. We're going to see. So I've just put on the foundation. I haven't done any concealer or powder yet. And I actually really like it. Um, I wasn't sure if it was going to be too full coverage for me. Since I do have freckles. But you can still see all my freckles. And it is the right color for me, surprisingly. I think if I layered it up a bit more, it would be too dark. But um, since I'm just doing a light layer of it. I think it works really well and it doesn't feel sticky even without applying powder it feels like nice and silky I'm gonna go ahead and do my concealer my powder and bronzer and blush and stuff like that um, and then we'll see I'm not gonna do too much stuff to my face today because I am trying to see how I like this but I'll be back in a minute Okay, so this foundation doesn't have any crazy claims on it, like lasts all day or, you know, won't ever crease on you or whatever. So I'm just going to film updates um, if I notice it kind of slipping around or to let you know how it's wearing uh, throughout the it day. It is 11.41 right now. Um, I'm going to go ahead and put on my eyes and my eyebrows because... I look like a boy, but I'll do that and I'll be right back. Okay, so I have applied the True Blend foundation. I also put Rimmel Stay Matte, just a plain um, translucent long pressed powder. And I added some Wet n Wild bronzer. So now it is 11.49. And I will check in with you guys later. Bye, guys. Hey, guys. Just here with an update for you um, for the foundation, the CoverGirl True Blend Foundation. Um, I'm finding it's worn pretty good throughout the day. I am getting a little bit of shininess in my T-zone, but I can just put some powder on there and it'll be fine. But other than that, it's it hasn't, like, come slid off my face at all and it doesn't really look like I'm wearing foundation but I like it it's really natural looking so um, I'm gonna try it again probably for the next couple days and then I'll let you guys know what I actually think of it as a product I did notice this morning though even well not anymore because I have been using hand sanitizer I'm in my scrubs as you can see um, but it, it does have a smell to it. It smells almost like, like, like kind of powdery, but it's liquid foundation. So I don't know. I'm going to have to go smell it like in the bottle. I'm not sure if it was just like the way I was applying it. It just, it had a funny smell to me. So, um, I'm just letting you guys know that I did notice that right after applying it as I was driving to school, I was like, huh, my, like I could smell it under here. I was like, that's kind of gross. But, um, yeah, I'll check in with you guys a few hours later. It is 5 o'clock now. I just got finished class, so I'm just in my car. All right, see you guys in a bit. Hey, guys. So I'm here with my final update for the CoverGirl True Blend Foundation. Um, I really like this. It wore really well throughout the day. I did use the Stay Matte Powder, and um, the only thing I noticed was it kind of, around my nose, creased a little bit. But I don't know if that's just from my concealer or what. So, um, other than that, I really liked this foundation. And I will be trying it again for the rest of the week. Just to get my full 
kind of take on it. Um, yeah, so this is a good one, and I really like the coverage. It wasn't too um, full coverage. Like I said, I don't like full coverage foundations as much because of my freckles, but um, I just applied it this morning with a flat-topped brush like this. And, yeah, so that was a good first impression for me. Um, I totally recommend this if you're looking for, like, a summer foundation. I think I'll be wearing it a lot more in the summer. I am very, very happy about that. So, next, my uh, first impression will be of the Dream Matte Mousse from Maybelline. And I'm going to be doing first impression videos, um, like, with a theme. So, April will be foundations, and then... May will be like mascaras or something, but just so that um, I'm kind of comparing a bunch of the same products for you guys. And that is my first first impressions video. So if you liked it, uh, comment down below uh, or subscribe, letting me know that you guys liked the video. Give it a thumbs up if you do like it. And thanks for watching, guys. Talk to you later. Bye. Mm -hmm.